This is News 10 at 9. And welcome back to News 10 at 9. We are ready for a lively discussion. We are joined by Doug Jan. He is with the California Department of Education. Also, Maria Kang. She is a fitness blogger and a mother of three. Four weeks, 20 months, <laughs> wow. and three years. Four months, was it? No. Did, I, did I get it right? Three, four weeks. Wow. Three years old, and the middle child is 20 months. I did get it right. Yes, you did. You look did. great. Oh, you look did. great. And you know is. this lady. This is our mother extraordinaire, Melissa Crowley. And the reason that we brought you all together is because Melissa went to her little girl's school, and they weren't doing the type of physical fitness activity she would have liked to have seen. Instead, yeah. they were doing cup stuff. And Dan was very patient with me. It kind of set me off because my daughter came home and said, Mom, look what I did in gym class today. I was cup stacking. And I said, Now, I wonder if that's something that they just do from time to time it didn't seem to be a real cardiovascular workout wow. so I talked to the principal and, and he kind of expressed you know we're dealing with a lot of kids with a lot of different fitness levels and then in talking to other parents at other schools some of the challenges we've heard about mm -hmm. at some schools you can't run for fear that you might fall so at recess nobody runs uh, another school tag is considered aggressive so kids are not getting a chance to run around and be kids and, and Doug I, I had a question for you what is the curriculum requirement in California public schools and is this an acceptable form of exercise? You know, the requirement in, in California public schools is 200 minutes of um, physical education instruction every 10 school days for the elementary levels. For the high school level, it's 400 minutes of uh, physical education instruction every 10 school and days. And how specific can it be, Doug? Can, does it say this is acceptable or is it more up to the schools to decide what they want to do? It's primarily up to the schools how they build their curriculum and how they implement that curriculum. Well, Maria, the mother of three kids, they'll be going to school before you know it. Oh, what yeah. would you like to see your kids get in terms of PE activity at school? I want them to engage in a lot of variety, mm -hmm. you know, basketball, soccer, dance. I mean, personally, I hated sports growing up, so it was really nice to have that dance component. I like them to get involved in anything, even yoga. There's so many things that you can do, including cup stacking. I wouldn't mind some mental activity there as well, as long as it's not just cup stacking. But Doug, the real issue. problem is at each school, they do have issues. Like Melissa just said, you know, maybe some kids can't partake in these, so they're trying to appease everybody. Is that the right approach? Well, you know, basically, it, it's really the school's responsibility to create a, a safe environment for their kids, but also to create an environment that's um, going to increase their health and, and, you know, physical as well as mental fitness. And how much responsibility, Maria, do you think parents have in terms of if, you know, we think it's up to the school to make sure they get exercise during the day, but then you go home, some kids mm -hmm. are told to be in the computer, then they're playing yeah. video games. Some people don't feel safe, you know, playing in yeah. their yard. So mm -hmm. it is a challenge. If we're not getting fitness as much as we'd like to in schools, yeah. then as parents, does it fall on our shoulders? Oh, it definitely falls on our shoulders. Everything falls on the, on the parent's shoulder to be a good role model for their kids. I wholeheartedly believe that when you come home, not only feed them healthy, nutritious meals, but also be fit yourself. You know, take them out walking and get a dog, make them walk the dog. Um, I personally have engaged in Zumba with my stepdaughter and that was a lot of fun. So do something that they love, get a wee fit game. Um, it's all about the parents' responsibility to be a good role model. Be for mindful. Kids. And, and Doug, you were saying some schools are, are trying to do that, not just maybe in gym class, but in other classroom activities. Well, actually, the, the State Department of Education, um, the superintendent of, of public instruction has created an a initiative called Team California for Healthy Kids. And through that initiative, um, we've created a website, basically, that parents can go to and, and find activities like Maria was talking about and uh, to increase not only you know physical activity, but nutrition and um, you know throughout the school day and beyond the school day. Well, that's the point that I think we got to drive home. Maybe parents have to reset their mindset when it comes yes. to education. Mm -hmm. Don't expect the teacher to teach little Johnny mm -hmm. how to read. you got to help out. Don't expect yeah. the teacher to mm -hmm. teach little Johnny how to get physically fit. You've got to help out. Maybe parents just need to truly step up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, well, Dan, your boys are really active because you make a big uh, deal after school front problems, but I guess, you know, the concern is for parents maybe that aren't able to do that. Maybe they work late. Um, how do you scrunch exercise into that time crunch so your kids don't suffer? You know, Personally, I think that not only should you incorporate gym at the end of your work day because you want to be fit not just for yourself but for your family, but get your kids involved into in some type of fitness program, whether it be a My Gym Next Year gym or maybe there's a lot of gyms right now that have fitness programs for the kids while you're working out. And so we, I will look into that. And there's some we know some great rec programs because money is is an issue sure. for families that might not be able to join a gym. Uh, check those out as well, Doug. Um, in terms of outside of the classroom, are you anticipating any changes? Do you think? 
think and how curriculum will be shaped for Jim in the future? Well, actually, outside of Jim and more inclusive of the entire school day, um, teachers are being encouraged to, to integrate uh, physical activity into their regular lessons. You know, one of the examples that I saw in uh, a school in Northern California, far Northern California, were kindergarten kids learning how to count, learning how to add and subtract by jumping on circles. Mm -hmm. Teacher would say, jump three ahead, boom, boom, boom and then jump two back, boom, boom, what's, what's the remainder? One. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. and the kids were jumping and they were physically active through that entire period. And the beautiful thing about that is those little fidgeters, you get them to burn off some of those yeah. calories, they may pay closer attention. Well, you know, exactly, and research has shown that um, kids that are physically active, physically fit, um, eat the right kinds of food and everything else are getting higher test scores. Mm -hmm. We Definitely. think that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> well, just watch out for Melissa Crowley. When she gets upset at school, you may be hearing from her, Doug, okay? <laughs> I think when parents get engaged, hopefully then we can yes. be part of the solution and not expect it to all fall on the school. And that shoulders. is another great point. If you have a problem, go talk to the teacher, go talk to the administration, right? It takes exactly. a community to raise a fit child. About an hour a day, is that enough? Um, I believe exercise? An hour is a lot of exercise. Okay. But what I loved about what Doug was saying was that you can do exercise and it won't be considered exercise. Mm -hmm. So it's fun. You're yeah. going to get a heck of a lot of exercise with a yeah. four-week-old, a 20-month-old, and a three-year-old. And that is considered non-exercise, but it is. Oh, well, believe yeah. me, that is. And that's mental exercise, too. Oh, definitely. Good luck to you, Maria. Thank you. Doug, thank you so much for coming by and joining the conversation. And Melissa, yeah. thanks for stirring up trouble Take again. my cups with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to be right back with News 10 at 9.